What is up guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem and let's get into this mission ambush at Alale or however you, however you pronounce it, but we're supposed to be meeting up um, with, who are we supposed to be meeting up with? Supposed to be meeting Having up with somebody to help get aid. like some troops, Rodrigue I has think uh, Felix's soldiers. dad, and he told us to meet him at like a neutral point. In order point. to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for Alale the Valley of Torment. Yeah, ALL. Ugh. That just sucks saying it. ALL. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? Barely. Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Alel was born of the goddess's rage. If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed. And there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. Uh, I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things near those mountains okay. over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rod Rig soldiers? No. Holy but their crap. banner is that of <gasps> No. The Can't Empire. Be. That is House Rose banner. They curried favor with that witch and sold out Fargus. We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you yep. have us meet them in battle, or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness well, dang, is correct. Bro. He is not an opponent who we can expect to negotiate with. Everyone, prepare for the attack! He's like, we don't care. They they some traitors. We killing them all. I'm like, just say the word, bro. We're gonna go into battle and slaughter them all. Hopefully. It's like now as much as I'd like to do like the auto battling because they'd be kicking ass, but now it's like since everybody's kind of caught up in level as far as enemy wise, uh, it's proven more difficult, especially because they have way more enemy units out here. All right, let's see. Who do we have out here? Uh, am I happy with this lineup? I guess I'll say yeah. Do I really need... You two, though, like. Nah, we, we want someone that's like lower level to be out here. Um, let's see. Yeah, you're level 26, and then maybe give Sylvain somebody, too. And I think I might just. I might just reclass Dimitri, just because I kind of hate that uh, that his movement pattern's a little too too low to my liking. 
Whatever it takes. Trying to make sure. Oh yeah, Mercedes. Uh, she's uh, a Gremory, so she does dark, uh, dark magic or yeah, black magic and something else. Uh, faith magic, the white magic. Um, I think everybody's where I want them to be. Let's uh, let's hope this team can get the job done. The Valley of Torment. Perhaps yeah, they got a hell of paladins on their side. Life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man who raises the lion's flag, Lord Gwendol. He is an elder knight who serves House Rome. Gwendol would, without thought, fight any battle that boarded. There is no chance of negotiating. Aelel is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Sane people usually avoid it. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. Alrighty. Um, let's just look at this battlefield and what we're dealing with. So, this is the commander all the way over there. And we have quite the amount of people to fight through. For auto battle, let's do focus and see how everybody does with their initial movements. I must continue. Glenn. Yeah, I had a feeling they were going to kill Ingrid off like that. I guess the thing that's like most difficult is just the fact that there's a lot of them. More fighting. I'm surprised they put Mercedes up front like that. I'd be honored. Okay, it looks like we survived. Put me in there. Got you, bro. So I'm liking the way these gauntlets uh, work. I kind of wish I incorporated that earlier. <laughs> That's a win for everyone. What's my strategy? I want to send like a small, strong group to the left, per se. Oh, the right. And then have everybody else kind of everybody else kind of like move to the other side, um, do their own thing. I don't know where I want to move him. What's the plan? Ooh, that crit was nice. Knew you could do it. So I, I, I'm going to turn Ash into a Bow Knight, most likely. My orders? Yeah, we only we want to take out these guys as soon as possible. I'm 
here, girl. Two come. At your service. So I kind of figured out that Fortified, um, <laughs> Fortify luckily enough does like a nice heal. Uh, it's like a group heal basically. I feel like she's going to get killed next turn, but this is just like kind of testing it out. I don't know where I want to move her. I can't stop. Oh, he went for a net instead. Okay, that's... That's fine, I guess. I swear. They become an in clutch for us. Great work. Okay, Ash is now clutch. I used to hate having Ash on the team. Now I'm just enjoying it to the fullest. <laughs> oh, he got a self-heal. I didn't even know that. Special dance, huh? Okay, that's kind of weird how they won't let me target Ingrid for the heal. Take these guys out the better. Let me help you. I don't even know why they give me that option. I need to take the mace off her.
Thanks so much. It's like the most clutch thing I could probably do now is basically use a uh, Sorothea to move Ash a second time so you can get these these hits in from a distance. Results. Next yeah, I think one of like the best things I could think about for this game as far as like advice is if your character can use like two different weapons um, that they're pretty much solid at, please just use it. <laughs> Let me see, where can I move him to get him closer? Wow, that's not even like that much farther. Did our worst. I think they almost like have my have my guy dead. Wow. <laughs> ah, snap. So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrett Mock. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. Funny, cause uh, we're actually about to defeat you now, buddy. Well done. I'm trying to think, is there any way to get this guy like extra EXP? Rusted Godlets. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. It is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendol was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. <laughs> God damn, Dimitri. He was like, yeah, that's cool and all, but we killed him, so he ain't shit now.
Man, I low-key wish I, uh, I put more effort into Ash. Ash been coming in clutch with those critical hits he be getting. I know next time, though. It's been too long, your next time I'll actually have him but focus as a, as a bow knight. This is a war, after all. To say such a thing at a time like this, you have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I heard you'd been executed, I rushed there as fast as I could, blind with fury. When I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert, you have done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you, I have you to thank as well. Well, we are in your debt. I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring His Highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Rodrigue. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiad. There, she reorganized her troops and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively. And now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness, we should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so I mean, much. We'll hurts. have more allies that way. But which is more sure. important, the dead or the living? Silence! No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me? Asking the dead to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. He's like, don't Do not dare words. to put words in the mouths of the dead. <laughs> they are your words alone. That was close. Even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, Father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues. <sighs> you are my king, our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness, there are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. He's like, I don't care. We're doing what I said. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, Your Highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Oh, is he getting his, his hero Eric relic? Bar. The hero's relic once wielded by my father. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiad. Understated as ever, father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful. My friend. So now you're gonna Gilbert. listen to him? Professor, may I request something of you? I wish to fight at your side. Oh, that's fine with me, bro. Already, old man. Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king. To my dear friend. A very old one. I swore it nearly ten years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the Empire together. 
My men and I, I mean, that didn't tell no me what effort. the promise was, though. I pray that you are right, and that this will save the kingdom. All right, now he's just more deadly. Our orders are to capture Envar by striking the enemy's stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fundlin? Then you must be aware that the Kingdom and the Empire are separated by the impassable Agma Mountains, right? Mm -hmm. Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, we have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Uh... West. Hmm. I believe that may be difficult. After all, the western region of the kingdom is already loyal to the Empire. Perhaps we should consider going east, using the route that passes through Alliance territory. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I'm afraid it's a possibility, but it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Speaking of House Gloucester, I wonder how Lawrence is holding up. If we meet him again, it will probably be as enemies. To be honest, I'd rather avoid seeing him altogether. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. Dimitri's always been good at speeches. Part 2. Azure Moon. Lone Moon. The Rose-Colored River. The Kingdom Army meets with Rodrigue in Elel, the Valley of Torment. With the strength of House Fraldarius on their side, the time to invade the Empire is finally at hand. It sure is. Even though it's in ruins, in some strange way, this monastery never truly changes, does it? I studied at the officer's academy when I was young. Those memories come rushing back whenever I return. What are you doing here at this hour anyway? <laughs> it's the same for me. 
Perhaps you'll allow me to join you. Mm, sure. Much appreciated. <sighs> I keep recalling my eldest son. He was quite gifted. In fact, he was appointed a knight at the age of 15. I still vividly remember the day he was granted a sword from his majesty. Dead. He was killed nine years ago in Dusker. All that returned of him that day were his sword and his armor. After it happened, I said something horrible to Felix. He's hated me ever since, and I don't blame him. No matter how much you grieve, the dead will never return. No magic in the world can bring them back. That's why their memory clings to the living like a curse. The more they were loved, the tighter their hold. I wonder what he said to Felix. Like, maybe I wish it was you. I fear I am not a strong enough man to scold his highness for his foolishness. Right you are. As adults, it is our responsibility to scold him and help him find his way again. I come off as so self-important, but really, I'm just a failure of a man. <sighs> Professor, I entrust the young prince and the future of Fargus to you. <laughs> you are a brave one, aren't you? One worthy of leading the Church of Seros, I dare say. You should know that I have no intention of insisting that you take back Ferdiat. All I ask is that you continue to rein in Dimitri's manic desire for revenge. Now then, we have received House Regan's consent. All that's left is for us to depart. If we make it through Gloucester territory and across the Great Bridge of Murden, we'll be in Empire territory. You are not afraid, are you? No, never, bro. Yes, such is war. I'm glad you were the one to lead the Blue Lion House, Professor. I mean that. Well, guys, with that said, I'm going to end off this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as usual, I'm going to play through here uh, these next three weeks. You guys won't see it. And we'll come back in on the next mission. Hopefully things go well in the next episode. But if you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like for it. It helps out the video. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. That way you can stay updated on the videos. But with that said, take it easy. Later.